Hey guys, I wanted to uh, talk to you about this China cabinet that has been getting a lot of attention and a lot of love on Instagram. I um, wanted to talk to you about the process of designing it and in general my uh, philosophy when it comes to designing China cabinets. So this China cabinet belonged to a, belongs, belongs to a customer, so this is a client-owned piece, and we picked this up from a storage unit in Connecticut, and the client um, has had this piece in her family for 40 years or more. It was brown and dated, and at, at least to me, it was a stunning piece of furniture. And uh, she sent this, so we picked it up, which is what we do uh, for a lot of our clients on the East Coast. We pick up your furniture from your house and we deliver back to you after we lacquer it. So we picked this up uh, from her storage unit. This will go to her house. And this client was ready to pick a fun color. And she really wanted to do ruby, but the husband was unsure about it. But I think she went with her instinct, which is my advice to you always, is when it comes to picking color, especially if you want to do fun color, go with your first choice. So this client chose to do ruby, like I said. And um, as, as you can see, it's a stunning piece of furniture. Um, she gave me complete creative control over the rest of the designing process, which was, I mean, I'm very grateful. Um, you know, you can't, that's, that's a huge responsibility also because it gives me, you know, makes me nervous because I'm spending somebody else's money. So for me, a client giving full creative control on such a big project is, is a little daunting, a little scary. It feels great because the trust is huge. Um, it's a lot of money, like I said, and, uh, you know, I'm very grateful for that. It, it means a lot to me. Um, and this client especially, like I said, just said, do what you want to do with this, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to love it. And this client, when she emailed me several months ago, I mean, she was super excited, which is what I see a lot of my followers. They're like, I've been stalking you, watching you for months, years, and this is the piece I want to get done. And then finally, and I hope she loves it when she gets it, but finally when you show the finished product and you have exceeded the expectations, it's huge. I mean, it's huge um, to, to get that from the customer. Um, and like I said, I don't take, you know, I don't take taking money from people lightly. Um, it's very serious for me. Um, I, will do, I will do everything I can to deliver the product that I promised I would. So um, in this particular case, um, there was this picture of Cameron Diaz from years ago where she's wearing this magenta dress and turquoise necklace um, and she looks fantastic and she's fun, vivacious and that was kind of my inspiration for this piece. Then I chose for the hardware, I decided that I am going to do Modern Matter hardware and I chose Amazonite uh, for, the, for the poles which kind of mimics the turquoise that I wanted to copy and when it comes to designing china cabinets, I choose to put big chunky hardware generally in the center of the doors. Now, when you're using hardware on kitchen cabinets, you don't really want to do that because this is not the most comfortable way of opening doors. So in this case, you know, you don't want your hand to hit on a kitchen cabinet all the time, but a china cabinet, you're going to open probably two or three times a year. So it's completely okay, in my opinion, to have big chunky hardware in the center. So look at the, the style of the door and the back plate pretty much mimics the, the style of the door in this case, and I really love that. Um, like I said, the, the stone creates, creates a great contrast. Um, these poles are a bit more subtle because what we're trying to do is achieve drama at the bottom with hardware. And on the top, we're trying to achieve drama with the paper, which is what I'll talk about next. But we decided to, I decided to do simpler, but yet chunky hardware. It has a hint of Amazonite on either side, so it does not scream. Um, and, you know, that's kind of was my thought when it came to choosing hardware for this. So I struggled <laughs> picking paper for this cabinet. Again, the client gave me creative control. 
um, and I was looking everywhere and I wanted to use this Christian Lacroix rough wallpaper, which I'm sure I don't know how to say French words, so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. But uh, I wanted to use this Christian Lacroix wallpaper for a long time, uh, but didn't have a project for it. And I wasn't sure because there was, there was, I mean, I could have ordered a sample, you know, whatever, but I was on the fence for it for the longest time. And finally, I took the plunge and, you know, ordered the paper thinking, okay, I think this is going to work out. I don't know. But anyways, so this wallpaper has gold in the background and it's got beautiful, you know, butterflies everywhere. Um, and it's a stunning, stunning uh, wallpaper. I love it so much that I do intend to use it again um, on some other project. But again, on the top, it's the wallpaper that is making the design statement and the hardware is very minimal. You know, we don't want big screaming hardware because the wallpaper is taking all the attention. Now, when it comes to redoing china cabinets, we always, especially when you have glass shelves, which we kind of, I suggest clients that they should do glass shelves if they don't have glass shelves. We always add lights that are controlled by a remote and we send this to the client. So this would be a beautiful piece in your living room, dining room, whatever you intend to put it, and you can leave the light on at night and it glows and looks gorgeous. And I think I love that part about adding light. So we add lights, we suggest that you always do glass shelves. And this already had glass shelves, but you know, they're at her house. Um, one thing I wanna talk about is getting um, a china cabinet refinished. To me, china cabinets are an amazing value when it comes to redoing them. Two reasons, you can add them anywhere because they're generally shallow. And the other thing is, because it's a tall piece of furniture, it's going to make a huge statement and you don't have to worry about buying art, lamps, tchotchkes, accessories to go on top of it. Yes, you will have to accessorize your china cabinet, but I have seen a lot of times that people will buy a credenza and they will never be able to buy the art. Not never, but at least two or three years they're struggling to buy art because it's not easy to buy art. So to me, a china cabinet is a piece of furniture that does the job of an art and a piece of furniture for storage. So I think the awesome thing about a china cabinet like this is that you are going to find this type of china cabinet that somebody wants to get rid of because their parents went into the nursing home or whatever, they had it, they have no use for it and they want to get rid of it as fast as, as possible and you could score this for $100, $500 at the most. This is American made furniture. Uh, this has beautiful joinery, dovetail joints wonderfully made. If you have to get this remade today, you would probably spend just five or seven thousand dollars in labor. That doesn't include the cost of glass and things like that. So there's a great deal of value in doing a vintage piece of furniture and especially a china cabinet in my opinion. And you know this is this is recycling and this is upscale recycling furniture. This would go to a landfill. This would be hauled by 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Um, and it'll never see the light of the day after that. Whereas in this case, this, is, this has become a piece of art and I think it's gonna bring a lot of joy to the owner. So that was kind of my thought process, my design process in designing this china cabinet. And now this is quite a statement maker. I have designed several other china cabinets that are a bit more muted and understated. So not every china cabinet has to be a statement maker, but this client was open to the idea. But we are going to create more long form content for YouTube. So please subscribe, please give us feedback. We would love to answer your questions. So please comment and ask questions if you may have, but we wanna keep doing this for you and we would love to hear from you.